hello everyone so today also we are going to continue with replication of this character interaction system with world objects so this one is the left one is a client and the right one is a server it's the server so when i press e from the server you can see the character is properly sitting but if i try the same from the client side let me rotate so that server can see client if i press c now you see client tries to sit but actually sits but the location does not get adjusted properly and also uh, the animation only plays in the client it's not properly replicated into the server so this is what we are going to address today so the reason this happens is because this chair object is uh, owned by the server owner is the server and because of that this logic that uh, makes the character sit on the chair is implemented inside the chair and we can't in invoke a remote procedure call from inside the chair to make it properly replicate across all instances so that's why this happens so and that's the issue we are going to fix today all right and in case you are not familiar with this series so this is the full playlist where i worked on this character interaction system uh, where the character can interact with chair and do exercise with this barbell and sleep on blades pick up and carry boxes things like that i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description and also before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from the patreon page so once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below okay so to start fixing the issue let me first open this chair actually this chair is a child of pp interactable actor let me open the parent character so here this is where the interact input is taken and what i do is start and end interaction when i first press e starts interaction and when i press e again ends interaction so start and end interaction is has uh, been overridden here in the child pp chair so i play the relevant animations and may move the character to the relevant places and make the character basically sit so as i said the actor these actors are owned by server so because of that it's uh, not uh, I can't execute a remote procedure call that allows us to replicate the interaction from client to server and then to all other clients so because of that I am planning to migrate this interaction part into the character rather than leaving it inside the interactable actors because the characters are owned by clients or the server depending on the player so therefore we can execute remote procedure calls from clients from uh, characters so how do we do that first let me open my character class this one and here so you see here i have this collider this is what detects the interactable this is what detects the character and set as the interacting actor now here instead of setting the interacting actor in the interactable actor i'm gonna set up a new interface event here i have this ppi character i'll add a new function to this blueprint interface 
I'll call it set interactable actor and I'll add a parameter from the type of actor I'll call it actor so I'm planning to pass a reference to the interactable actor that character is currently overlapping with and also I'll add a new fun another function mm. I have to make things easier let me duplicate this and I'll name it clear interactable actor so I already have that uh, parameter okay now here I should have set interactable actor and clear interactable actor here let me promote this and I'll name this variable as interactable actor and when I clear it first I'll check if the actor that I'm trying to clear is equal to the current interactable actor reference if yes I'll clear it that means I'll set interactable actor to none the reason I did this is because just in case if I overlap with another interactable actor and in that case if I try uh, if the actor uh, let me try again if the actor in uh, overlap with two interactable actors and the first actor trying to clear its reference but by that time the character may have another new reference so in that case we should keep it unless we get the clear command from the current interactable actor all right and so as I said I want to pass the interaction part into the character rather than leaving it like this here so let me delete this and this class is implementing this BPI interactable blueprint interface here I'll add a new function called interact and I'll add the new actor parameter I'll call it interacting actor now here I'll get interact interface event so now here I'll first so here I already have this interacting actor but I'll set it here rather than setting it through the collision and also here instead of enabling input as I said now I don't want to set the interacting actor here I only want to set it when I actually do the interaction so into this actor I'll call set interactable act and I'll pass a reference to self and then here instead of disabling inputs I'll pass clear interactable actor I'll call clear interactable actor 
and pass a reference to self like this okay now we need to take care of the inputs so um yeah we have a jump a move i'll add a new input action i a interact let's call it yeah and let's go to the map it context and add i interact as the key i'll you see right now i a interact from start uh now if i have a valid interactable actor we need to call interact on this but i should not here i can actually call interact like this but this will not this will not replicate this will only work on server i think but let me test it, yeah it replicates from server but i don't think it will replicate from client see it's not working okay so now we can actually implement this as a remote procedure call so how do we do that here i'll add a custom event interact server and i'll add an input actor uh, leave it we can easily do it in another way and another one a custom event interact multicast right now set this to run on server and set this to multicast that means replicate this event from server to everyone else all right now here uh oh Ooh. now i need to call interact message on the interactable actor so target here i need to call interact multicast and target uh, maybe instead of target I'll call it interact target right and the interacting actor is self that means this character right now here we have a switch on authority switch has authority this means we are in server this means we are in client if we are in server we can simply call interact multicast interacting target is this otherwise we will have to call interact server if we are in client we need to call this interact function on server to properly replicate it as a remote procedure call right now let's check all right let's test from client to server see now it sits and it's properly replicated 
it's just from server to client as well it's still working nothing is broken on more thing let me try with three game instances so the small ones are clients other ones are server other one is server see it's replicating from client to server and client to client and server to client and everything all the combinations let me try this interaction yeah that's also working okay cool so the system is working and i think it's this is a good place to stop this episode so in future i will look into uh, other parts of this interaction system as well this carrying boxes and see if they are interacting uh, replicating properly if not i will fix them as well so yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye